morning or good afternoon everyone. Today is Monday, May 16th. Let us start with a word of prayer. Loving Father, we thank you for giving us another opportunity to open your word, your word of life. May it speak life into us and may it change us. And may we share this with the rest of the world also. In the holy name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. So thank you and welcome to another Sabbath School devotional. As we study, God will provide. But before we get into this lesson of today, let's do a quick review of yesterday's lesson or yesterday devotional. Yesterday we studied Abraham's experience on Mount Moriah. In this case, Abraham faith in God takes him to the point that he runs into the risk of losing his future or his potential future. And yet, because he trusted God, he will do what God asked him to do, no matter what or no matter how difficult it all is to understand. Abram had unmovable faith, and because of that, God provided. Let us read Genesis 22, verse 8. And Abram said, God will provide himself the lamb for the burnt offering, my son. So they went both of them together. Let's read Genesis 22, verse 14. Abraham called the name of that place, the Lord will provide. As it is said to this day, in the mount of the Lord, it will be provided. In these two texts, we see that Abraham answers what I would consider to be a perfectly natural question that was being asked by his son, God will provide, was the answer every time. Think about it. Isaac, I'm sure, seen his father make many sacrifices. I'm sure that he knows that his father cannot make a sacrifice without an animal. Therefore, him asking, where is the lamb, is perfectly natural. It really, really makes sense to me, and I'm sure it made sense to him. But an interesting discovery that I learned in Hebrew, the word provide, P-R-O-V-I-D-E, can also mean provide himself. So the original text in the Bible, as we know, it goes like this. God will provide a ram for the burnt offering. Now, let's plug the Hebrew definition into the same text. And now it says, God will provide himself as the lamb for the burnt offering. Wow, what a sacrifice. It's so amazing how early in time, and I'm talking about thousands of years before Christ came, how things were already pointing to the cross in Jesus. And I love the way Sister White writes it in um, Patriarch and Prophets. And it says, it will be impressed Abraham's mind with the reality of the gospel as well as the test his faith that God commanded him to slay his son the agony which he endured during the dark days of that fearful trial was permitted that he might understand from his own experience something of the greatness of the sacrifice made by the infinite God for man's redemption so to kind of sum that paragraph, pretty much talks about how God made him go through these things so that he can see, and for us to be able to see Christ through those things, and also for him to build his faith. And brothers and sisters, there's a deep message in these texts for you and I to close I want to leave everyone who is watching or listening with this one question. How does what happened here help us better understand what happened at the cross and what God has suffered in our behalf? Once again, thank you for spending time with me. Join us tomorrow as we look deeper into Abraham and the promise. Be blessed.